mm, mm, mm. okay hello I'm shaking out the nurse hello it is i danny welcome to my channel danny tries a thing brr. at this point the brr is part of that <laughs> anyways so if you are returning i'm so glad thank you and if you're new here welcome 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 this channel is for the dreamers it's for the people who are seeking to carve out their dream life whatever that might entail but they are taking the risk they are full of ambition and they're unafraid of failing this channel is for you um so i am a mama my name is danny a mama of two this is my journey postpartum post grad school trying to get back into all things creative and i do this by entering the scary world of etsy <laughs> so i'm doing print on demand products i'm doing printables as well as well as um manufacturing actual goods so i said a little mumble because that's new territory for me so this video is to discuss my results for the month of september so seven months on etsy i cannot even actually i can believe it because i knew that i was going to do at least one year and see how i did within the year so i am not surprised that i'm here and you know what it is my best month yet our best month yet it's not even as great as it will be uh manifestation it's not even as great as it will be but it was my best month yet i am i am celebrating my wins let's go let's talk all about it let's go bye okay so here we go these are the results for the month of September. <laughs> okay, so I had 492 visits, which resulted in 32, sorry, 34 orders and a conversion rate of 6.9%. Now, revenue $569 and one penny. Bam! Really, really proud of how I did for that month. Um, in terms of how Etsy supposes that I have, um, I was able to garner these audiences, it's accrediting half of the visits to other traffic, so like social media, etc. And then 52% um, is to themselves uh, in terms of their app, the search, the SEO. I know that the reason that I did so well for that month in terms of orders and visits, it had to do with a TikTok that I posted. So I know that I was able to bring in a lot of people that way. And I don't know if you remember that last month where I talked about how they have this new share and save link. So I did make use of that as well. So I do know that people were definitely, sorry, coming in through that. I just want to click on marketing and SEO because I know that was something that in the past videos, I was really trying to improve. See, in terms of traffic source, source breakdown, they're accrediting Google, essentially. They don't specify um, any terms, any particular terms. Quickly click on Etsy search to see. See, okay, so so many of the visits were because of the, the stickers, which um, again, the TikTok video was precisely about the stickers, so that makes sense. And then also in terms of search terms, they're accrediting um, Soft Up Shop, which is the name of my shop, which people were clearly looking for. Okay, so that makes sense. Let's quickly go back right here. I just want to quickly see um, direct and other traffic, which was the highest section over there for September. Let's see what people were looking. Okay. <laughs> a lot came from YouTube as well, which is interesting. I did actually take a snapshot of what my conversion rate was before I posted my last YouTube video. I guess as a result of posting my YouTube video, my conversion rate did decrease as a result um but again i am fine with it like i said this channel is to be transparent about my process and hopefully <laughs> with enough belief in, in myself i will be able to figure out how to maintain a high conversion rate okay so i'm not super fussed by that 
ended up spending $17 US on marketing because I did end up restarting my ads as of September the 13th. I'm only spending a dollar a day. I'm not spending much. And according to Etsy, the ads were prompting a lot of these um, extra sales of the stickers. So, I mean, it's story time. So, the reason that I saw some much more success in the month of September had to do with my TikTok. Basically, as you know, I was not sh showing up as much on YouTube, on social media, on IG, on TikTok. I really was focused on Etsy, improving my tags, improving my listing photos, improving um, my descriptions and my titles, all that search engine optimization stuff. That's what I was doing. And I was like, oh, you know what? I haven't been active on TikTok. I should make a video. So again, my stickers were something that were had done well in the past. So I was like, let me focus on the stickers. Let me just do this quick little video. Bum, 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 bum. Quick, simple video. I thought not, nothing of it. Posted it out of mind, out of thought. Until, okay, 100 likes turned to 200 likes turned to a thousand like turn to I don't know what I feel like my dad dread is <laughs> it started to snowball and and better what was the best thing about it was that people were actually actively engaging leaving jokes laughing making critiques as well but all of it was engagement and so what I was doing on my end to respond to the engagement was, remember how Etsy includes that share and save um, link? So I was key keying with everyone as well, responding to their jokes, but then also leaving that little um, link to my shop so they could directly access it if they were really interested in purchasing from me. And that, that was actually translating into real sales. So the sales started to accumulate. I started to grow. What was really lovely was the community. The way the community was engaging with that post and engaging with the work that I had created. It was so touching. And it was really lovely too because you know, people who who weren't necessarily purchasing things on Etsy, they were favoriting the store, which really helps in terms of how you rank on Etsy. So that was really, really helpful as well. And then also people were commenting with like ideas of different products that I should transform the characters into. So they were like, yo, you should make this, you should make these, you should transform in them into these. Oh, how about these? How about these? And that was like, check, check, check. <laughs> Writing all of this down so that I can then go into E-Rank and do my product research to understand what markets are worth exploring. You know, I do feel like it was luck because again, that video ended up going viral. What do you consider viral? I don't know what you define as viral, but right now it has like 40K plus views plus like, I don't know, I'll post a video so you can actually see the stats. It's a combination of preparedness with luck. And I guess my question for myself is how do you then duplicate it? Because that's what I'm interested in. I'm interested in marketing that allows me to, um, that can be reproduced and that can yield, if not similar results, like similar results. <laughs> So how does this get duplicated? What are sort of the ingredients of of that video that were successful? And I think at the baseline, at the foundation, it's the product. If there was a product that people think is of value, it's a good product, it makes them laugh. In my case, again, these stickers um, stem from my Caribbean culture. So ultimately, it was something that people could relate to with please engage in the comments. Again, like and subscribe because that really helps to communicate to the YouTube algorithm that you want to hear more from me. You want to see my videos. It's so helpful. All right, y'all. This is Danny from Danny Tries a Ting. I will see you on the next video. Yo.